Okay, so I think uh, we are in the 15.1 section. We have just finished the recurrence formula part. Uh, we're going to the upper and lower, lower bounds for Pn. Okay, and then the starting point is the generating function, which I wrote down here is uh, equation 15.6 is the, this is a generating function which expand to this Pn and then the generating function has a choice of the coefficient and by this choice we define the, the gender polynomial and last time we talked about that all the, the gender polynomial is defined such that the Pn at x equals to 1 is 1 okay so um, now we are try to show that that value 1 pn at x equals to 1 is the maximum okay and well, we start with the recurrence formula and now going back to x is cosine theta which is why we get uh, the gender polynomial in spherical coordinates so we substitute x goes to cosine theta Minus Q T cosine theta plus T square. And this one we have. And uh, we can use the Euler formula uh, to express that into a compact function. And the two cosine theta is e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta. Okay, so we can use that to. Uh, Expressed in a complex expression, which is uh, quite easy. You can see that it is uh, 1 minus t cosine theta, e to the i theta minus 1 half times a complex conjugate of this one ex for, for real t, of course. 1 minus t e to the So now, and remember t is uh, less than 1, we usually consider t is less than 1, so we can take the expansion of these two factors using the binomial expansion, so uh, let's work that out, this is uh, so 1, first term is minus one half, minus one half, and then this factor is minus t, that's the first order term, and then the second order term is plus, uh, minus one half times minus three half divided by two factorial, and square of that, Okay, and then uh, this one is minus one half, minus three half, minus five half, the three factorial, six, and minus t to the i theta q. Okay, so this one. Then now, uh, so this is this one, and we're going to do the same thing for this one, so it's basically just multiply the complex conjugate. Okay, uh, now we can simplify all this uh, coefficient, so this is uh, 1 plus. Now this is uh, you have uh, three times five is fifteen, and then you have uh, eight times 
six. Complex ones we can work out extensively, except that this is uh, changed to the uh, e to the minus sign thing there. Let's see if that is 8. This is e to the minus e to the minus thing there. Let's see if it's 2. So what we notice is that all the coefficients are positive. You can show that they will always be positive. Okay. Um, then uh, we can group the power of t so that we compare with this one and get the expression for pn. Okay. So let's group the first few terms. Okay. The first one. So. T is zero power, so it's just this times that, so it's just one. Okay, and the next one that would be uh, n equals to one, so it's just T. So we have this times that plus this times that. This times that t plus t Okay, so this is the first order term. And then the second order term, t square. Okay. And we have this times that and this times that. And then this times that one. Also is t square, so Square up. We have the first one this times that one to cancel the e to i theta with e to the minus i theta. And what you have is one to the four. Okay. One to the four. And then um, plus this times that. And this times that is. is uh, So T cube, okay. T cube you have a uh, so you have one times this one and one times this one. You also have this square term times this one and then this one times this one. Okay. So you have all that. So one is uh this one is a Okay, so that's one rep. Another one is uh, this times that one. Okay, that's uh, will give you minus e to the minus i theta, and this times that one will give you e to the to uh, i theta, uh, two i theta. Okay. Yeah, this no, not not this one. This one, this one times that one. So it's uh, e to the i theta. So what you get is uh, three times sixteen. Okay, three times sixteen. T cube, so this is a uh, p sub three so terms. Okay, so now uh, 
you can see that uh, there's a pattern in terms of so for the miniature all the state uh, has the multiplied by uh, this is i i theta just i theta times one so the coefficient is also a odd number an odd power for the even power this is uh, two times theta so it's an even vector but this one is just uh, e to the zero times theta but so just two of them so this is zero and two and now this is three this is one so all the odd order of pn is n is odd so it's sum over all the e to the i m theta and m is uh, also odd if n is even and the sum over m is even okay and also you see that you always have um, e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta e to the two i theta plus e to the two i theta always come in pair so this is three i theta and this e to the minus three i theta also comes in pair and the coefficient is all positive okay so and you can generalize the rule and that's uh, uh, maybe summarize this uh, 15 point trade is that uh, compared with this one so pn cosine theta sum of uh, a and m just for those coefficients whatever those coefficients are those coefficients Cosine m theta because uh, this one has two cosine theta, this one is two cosine two theta, this is two cosine three theta, so this cosine m theta, so the coefficients are all positive. So you sum up to the power of n, so t squared, you sum up to, up to two, three, you sum up to three, so sum up to n. So you start with uh, either depends on whether n is odd or even. If n is odd, you start with one. If n is zero, uh, even, you start with zero. So m is from zero or one. Okay. But all the a and n's are all greater than zero. Okay. So. You can see that uh, quite obviously, theta is zero, so cosine theta is one. Then uh, the pn one, so sum of this and n n. So this would be a maximum, okay? And of course, uh, you can also see that uh, for n is all even then pn is an even function so pn minus one is also one but then the n is odd then it's an odd function so pn minus one would be uh, equals to minus one because of pn minus one so if n is odd then uh, minus one is theta equals to pi okay so uh, so all this m is also odd. So all this are minus one would be equals to minus sum of n and m, which uh, you already see that this is uh, this is one. So this would be equals to minus one. Okay, so to show that uh, that uh, the value of theta is zero or x equals to one. Pn is maximum, and if n is odd, then it has a minimum value that uh, theta is uh, pi or x is minus one.